Okay, welcome, Janne Talas, uh, Managing Director of CMI. So what is CMI? Uh, CMI is uh, Marti Ahtisari Peace Foundation. It's an organization uh, that has been for 20 years to uh, promote uh, conflict prevention and, and mediation. It's one of the leaders in the world. So conflict uh, pre prevention and peace mitigation is at the moment very typical, very, very topical when we have, have the war in Europe. So, so yesterday you had a great panel here at the Cybersecurity Nordic. And uh, what were the main findings? So, so what is the takeaway from, from this event? Uh, it was an excellent panel. Uh, thank you uh, for joining us to organize it. We had the great experts. Uh, it discussed on what is the kind of the uh, the kind of nexus between the, uh, the mediation and the peace and and the cyber uh, space, and I think the uh, the findings we had was I think the first point that comes very clearly through is that uh, that we have to look for prevention. Uh, prevention is the key. Uh, the uh, the cyber conflicts are like conflicts in other domains. They cannot be uh, resolved separately. So that's something that we have to really uh, look that we have to treat them as a, as a kind of, as we resolve other conflicts. One aspect that makes the cyberspace different from other conflicts is that um, if you think of space or sea, is that private sector is very much involved. So private, the cyber kind of space depends on, uh, on private sector. So we have to work, I think one of the findings, prevention, and then you need to work with the uh, private sector actors. Uh, the real, uh, I think one of the kind of the key, key points was also that we have to really strengthen the rules uh, governing the, the, the cyberspace, and that is to create new rules and to strengthen existing rules. And this is something that we have, uh, it was clear that the, uh, the main responsibility is with the states and with the UN processes, with the regional organizations, OSCs and, and ASEANs are very active on that. And that's something that is, but also um, private sector. We have different charters, we have, uh, we have the work going on in the private sector also. Uh, the rules like no hack back is a very, very important in order to maintain the rules in the cyberspace. Uh, in addition to that, I think there are we we um, we need to have a more capacity building in uh, in the cyberspace. Uh, we need to promote uh, cooperation in the cyberspace. That that was that was very clear. Um, another set of findings. Uh, the point was very important. Transparency is a key. If we want to prevent, uh, we are talk we are talking about transparency. Transparency of action of actions that we know who is doing what in the cyberspace. That is very clear. We also, um, and there was an interesting discussion that there are lots of unintended con consequences. Uh, and the transparency of what could happen if attack happens, that the, the attackers do not want to cause certain uh, harm, but they actually do. And the transparency on that is something that, uh, that we, we could do. And also transparency in data. And that's something that we 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 uh, we very much uh, we were very much push uh, push forward. I would think that maybe these are the most important mm. findings for the uh, for mm. the what we had yesterday's panel. Okay, well, quite an impressive list, I would say. So we have now a war in, in Ukraine, and, and uh, sooner or later, ho ho hopefully sooner, there will be peace talks. So what what is your your recommendation in in the terms of cyber security? So, so how should the cyber domain be taken into, into account in the peace talk? Is it more an opportunity or, or is it an obstacle? Uh, yeah, I think what we see now in Europe is something we haven't seen before. Um, we were living in a kind of under threshold world that you had lots of cyber activity under the threshold of, of armed conflict. Now we are dealing with the cyber activity in the context of armed conflict. And that's something we have not used to. And that's something we're still kind of thinking what it means uh, and, 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 and we, we learn a lot and uh, that, that, that is interesting. Um, what, uh, how we go forward, what is the kind of the landing zone after this war, I think uh, this shows that the significance of cyber in kind of in any conflict resolution and I think uh, what, what we've been struck by the resilience of Ukraine uh, and I think that shows that it is really a whole of society, whole of state approach that really is required to, uh, to address cybersecurity. And at the same time, it is an issue that when we get, hopefully soon, as you said, to the peace negotiation, the, the cyber issues have to be factored in into the uh, discussions. 
Thank you very much, uh, Janne Talas, and, and we wish you all, all, all the best in your important work and, and looking forward to working together. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.